This is a classic. <laughs> I like that introduction. Tim Weisberg, where are you, Tim? Hey, Phil, how you doing? You know what's funny is we just did a, a paranormal event in Fall River last week, and uh, we put together a little impromptu band of paranormal investigators and researchers, and yeah. that was the first song we played. No kidding! We're yeah, on the same wavelength! Absolutely. You can check it out on YouTube, and everybody can make fun of how bad we are. Oh. <laughs> By the way, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Tim is one of the most fascinating people I know. Tim Weisberg, obviously, you, you know his name from... From radio, newspaper, and diner fame. Now let's start with the Standard Times sports writer, right? Oh yeah, for uh, since about 2000. Well, actually, I started covering pro wrestling in 1998, but nobody considers that a sport. <laughs> sports writing, 2001. And you had a, a podcast yesterday, didn't you? Yeah, we do that uh, high school football podcast. It's uh, it's, it's, it's pretty, pretty. I like when people uh, pay attention to the to the high school sports more than the the pro stuff, and uh, to get the chance to actually give the high school athletes a spotlight is, is yes. Thing. You're also, of course, the uh, one of the hosts. Well, actually, we should say the uh, creator, uh, the the host. Uh, what else? Uh, the 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 uh, 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 executive producer of Spooky South Coast, heard on WBSM and online every. Saturday evening starting at 10 o'clock. And, and I do everything except get the coffee. After five <laughs> years of being on the air, we finally get somebody else to do that for us. Tim uh, joins us this morning, and I also want to acknowledge uh, Christopher Balzano, along with uh, your your buddy Matt Costa, who uh, all combined to bring through uh, truly uh, not only informative and educational, but very entertaining and interactive talk show uh, about the world of the paranormal, right? And we yeah. want to a we want to congratulate you on the launch of your brand new book. Tell us about that. Well, I decided after uh, all these years of hosting Spooky South Coast and hearing all these stories about the area, I decided to try to compile them all into a book. Uh, at first, I tried to get some of my other friends to do it, Chris, Bal uh, Chris Balzano, Jeff Belanger, guys like that. And they're like, no, no, it's your area. You're a writer. You have to do it. So uh, finally, I bit the bullet and started putting it together, and it, it, it took a little while, but uh, the finished product is now out there. And the title of the book? It is Ghosts of the South Coast. And it's uh, all the history and the haunts uh, from everywhere, from Wareham to Westport, Fall River, Lakeville. You know, basically, it's uh, all the public places where people can go and experience ghosts for themselves. Ooh. And now, wh how do I get a hold of the uh, book? And once again, ladies and gentlemen, the title of the book, giving you a general overview of paranormal and uh, South Coast's most uh, haunted sites, is Ghosts. Of the South Coast by author Tim Weisberg. And where can we buy them? Baker Books? Baker Books has it. Uh, the Old Company Store in Wareham, the Sea Witch in Fairhaven, Collective Souls in a Cushnet. It's, uh, it's supposed to be in all the bookstores in the area, every Borders and Barnes and Noble. And, but I guess they're just having trouble getting them out on the shelves and keeping them there because uh, the popularity is such that it, I didn't expect it at all. I mean, Amazon keeps selling out. Isn't and, that fabulous? Uh, it's all people from outside this area that want to know about our ghosts. Well, you know what? That's good. Yeah. <laughs> because we have some very special ghosts. Have you befriended any lately? And if so, where and who? <laughs> well, the interesting thing is most of the time they don't end up being my friends. <laughs> uh, especially at the, the Lizzie Board in Bed and Breakfast, where the ghosts that haunt that place do not like me very much. Uh, mainly because I know their secrets. And uh, you can find out that secret in the book. But basically, uh, I go in there and I, I challenge what I think is a, a darker entity uh, that lives on that property and kind of controls those spirits. And so I go in there and go head-to-head -head with him, and I've been pushed around, thrown around. Uh, you know, they, they, they swear at me, growl at me, but really? you know, it's all, all in the day's work. <laughs> and uh, do you hear this uh, audibly, or can other people also hear this going on? The interesting thing, the growling, uh, we did hear audibly, but it didn't come out on our tape recorders or cameras. But most of what we capture and uh, is called electronic voice phenomena. And uh, our friend Luann Jolie from Whaling City Ghost, based in New Bedford, uh, she captured what we think is Lizzie Borden's voice on tape, telling us that she's a good daughter. And uh, we also caught something else there, uh, calling me all kinds of names and, 
and telling me to do not nice things to myself. Do ghosts or these uh, paranormal things follow you from there to wherever you're going, work or home, or do they simply stay there? Well, it's possible that they can follow you, and a lot of investigators will cleanse themselves before they go out on an investigation or uh, they'll do some sort of protection ceremony and they'll do the same thing when they leave. No. Uh, I basically just have a rule that I think the ghosts understand that, you know, when we're on your turf, it's your turf. If you follow me to my turf, we're going to have a problem. Oh, wow. Tim Weisberg joins us this morning, uh, author of the new runaway hit Ghosts of the South Coast. Folks, it's, they're, they're selling so fast and deservingly so. Tim Weisberg, you and uh, Matt Costa and uh, Christopher Balzano since, uh, what now, 2005, have really done uh, such an admirable job uh, educating and bringing the world of the paranormal to the South Coast through uh, all of what you do. Let me ask you, what is the purpose of ghosts? Is there a purpose for ghosts to be? I, I, I've gone over this for so many years now, and I've changed my mind so often. <laughs> <laughs> we, we all go through the, the belief that ghosts are, are the souls of people who have passed on. I mean, that's, that's the number one definition if you ask somebody what it is. I think it's something a little bit more scientific than that. I've, through my years of research and through doing the show and talking to great guests, I, I realized that, for one thing, energy can't be created or destroyed. It can only be changed. That's the first law of thermodynamics, and it holds true with people's energy as well, the energy that comprises us, what some people might call our soul. So I feel that when we pass on, that energy normally would dissipate out and be collected elsewhere. But sometimes, for some reason, it will retain the form that it has when it's us. And I could, I could always understand that for what we call residual haunts, which is just like a videotape playing over and over again. It doesn't actually interact with you. Uh, but I could never explain intelligent haunts, which is where the spirit will talk to you, uh, you know, leave uh, messages on imprinted, sure. imprinted on reporters. Sure. I could never figure that out until recently on an episode of Spooky South Coast. We had a guest that explained to us the idea of the ELF, which is apparently the electronic field that our brain waves create. Nice. You basically put out our intelligence out into the ether, and that can just as easily be collected and stored as well as our physical uh, energy as well. So to me, I mean, it's all scientifically proven, uh, but why, you know, why does it attack me? <laughs> that I don't know yet. Ghosts of the South Coast, the title of author Tim Weisberg's latest book, and it's a runaway hit. Uh, of course, you can tune in Saturday evening, 10 o'clock, to hear uh, the number one show when it comes to uh, an overview of the paranormal. And you can discuss, have uh, interaction with uh, Tim, Matt, and everyone else, special guests. It's a fabulous show, ladies and gentlemen. I want you to come on this program more often, A, to promote who you're coming up with, you know, guest-wise with, and also to give us a little bit more insight, because this was interesting to hear your views on what is the purpose of of uh, a lot of this energy. And I would appreciate it if your listeners could get in touch with me with any ghost stories they might have. I, I realize some people can't stay up on Saturday nights to call in, but they can always reach us at SpookySouthCoast.com. SpookySouthCoast.com. D do you have a phone number or a, an answering machine where folks could call? Uh, we don't. We used to have before what we called the Howler line where we allowed people to leave messages, and it started getting so filled up with <laughs> prank calls. and, and uh, No, like we had to... I'm shocked. <laughs> well, we've, we've done that. We've put every episode we've ever done online. Oh, and, my uh, goodness. We, we don't really mess with them. So you can hear when we've had people call in <laughs> and claim, uh, claim to us that their bathrooms are haunted. and Oh, <laughs> all my time. gosh. Listen, I want to thank you so much, Tim, and uh, join all the others in congratulating you on this well-earned success. And this is yet another step, I think, in your journey in helping us understand uh, a world that many of us uh, either don't understand or have a little bit of ignorance that blind us about the paranormal. Well, thank you so much. And if anybody wants to pick up a copy and they can't find it, I'll be at the old company store in Wareham Saturday from 1 to 5. And I'll be at the Fall River Historical Society on Halloween from noon to 2.30. So we'll be selling the book, signing it, and I want to hear all your spooky stories. So come and share. Tim, what a pleasure. Thank you so much for joining us. 
Thank you, sir. All righty. Spooky South Coast right here on WBSM Saturday night. Be sure to join us, ladies and gentlemen.